have for today. There's a new little commentary that I want to give and sometimes it's kind of a little bit hard to kind of calculate your steps while you're talking, but I guess I'd say that maybe today since I got a little knot on my index finger from all that carving I kind of did and demonstrated on here <coughs> the last couple of days. It's probably getting to be a little moment when we kind of got to take care of a few more things. And what I want to show you all today is how to use a different type of sharpener I have and can't remember the name of it but just remember where I purchased it but I had to write the numbers on them so I'd remember them after throwing away the package they came out of but this is a 180 grit the toughest grit of them all this one is a 260 which is the medium and this is a 360 which is the lightest and as I go about this work here and about these things, these sharpeners, I mean, they're kind of made of metal. They kind of got metal surfaces, little rough parts where you can kind of go about sharpening knives on them. And I'm thinking that today I might just do a little demonstration here on how to sharpen with these. I do believe that after some of the carving we did yesterday, these knives might be kind of doling a bit again. So here I'm going to kind of demonstrate how to start out with 160 grit. Usually I kind of like to go about 30 times on each grit. So that's how I'm going to start out here. Now we're going to do 30 for the other side of the knife. Now that goes with that one for that particular knife. And we're going to kind of try to sharpen the next one. And we might kind of make a little intervals between them, try to do 15 and 15, then 15 and 15 maybe. Well, that pretty much goes to show you, well, maybe we need to do it again here. But I tell you this one, it feels like it's gotten pretty sharp as it is. This one is kind of medium, so we'll go about this. Now you can do 10 and 10 three times too. knives on this grit then be a little time to move on to the next this one is kind of medium so we might just do 15 on this one <coughs> turns out the red ones are getting a little sharper than the tan ones are
You can also go 20 and 30. I mean 20 and 10 rather. since they came out a little sharper we might kind of start out maybe doing a little less with them maybe give them 15 strokes each and this is the lighter grit sometimes it gets a little worn around here so you kind of have to take a part of the sharpener that still has its roughness in it do 15 both ways on this one. Well, that's how it goes. God. did 20 and 10 on that knife. We're going to try to go a little further on this. I just did 30 strokes on here. Now 30 more to the other side. Well, Hey, all this work is coming along just fine. Even when you're sharpening knives, it's still best to wear a glove and a thumb protector. And it's good to have an apron or something covering your legs because there's been a time before when I was kind of carving with something that was kind of a basic knife, kind of of exacto form, a carving knife mainly meant for like basswood and balsam and stuff like that. I was using it to carve some cedar, ended up making a laceration in my leg had to get it sewn up. It's been a few years since that happened, but just little things we have to learn. Lessons of life. And it's finally time to get out the final grit of them all. I think I will do 15 with each knife on of the red knives on this one.
I always remember, you know, with each side of the knife, you want to do the same number of strokes. here and there never hurt us at all there will also be times when even after getting that far you may also want to take a ceramic stone and use maybe I'd say the ceramic stones too they sort of like I mean come in different types of roughness I try to like to do the ceramic stone last so if I ever do it so I usually get like the one that's the smoothest and try to stroke my knives along that you can probably do about maybe if you've already used these other sharpeners do about 15 10 or 20 strokes with this I'm choosing to do 15 strokes of each knife on this because that's kind of what it comes down to at this point. So you've probably seen in a previous video a little thing about how to use that leather strop when you get done. I'd love to carve right now and give you all little commentaries while I'm doing it, but I do think that today is a day when my fingers might need a little rest from that, so I want to instead show you all some little blanks I have made sometime before you might have seen in a YouTube video I did in the past some little Santas or big Santas rather that were kind of like a Saint Nick Claus out of a Rick Butts book and they had I had them made out of poplar and sassafras and or rather poplar and cherry I'm trying to say and had them carved out and had their beards and their faces and their ruffles painted but here's a couple of blanks to those that I just cut out of Buckeye yesterday or have been kind of cutting these out little by little the last two days. My sister just left town t today. I mean, she will actually came to visit us from out of town, but she went back home today. So I've just been kind of limited my activity in the shop, just trying to prevent creating too much noise that might carry upstairs and be of too much disturbance. So I will also tell you all that these are a couple of blanks to a little Alpine St. Nicholas that I made out of cherry. And you've probably maybe seen the one out of macadamia nut in, in a video I've shown before. But these ones I've already carved and sort of drawn out the lines on. And then there's these two that I've cut out of poplar here. Haven't even drawn the lines on them. And moreover, I've kind of got over in my other area some blanks I've still been drawing on. Don't remember if I've already cut them out yet or not, but there were some where 
I have these two blocks of buckeye. I've already drawn <coughs> the line on the shapes to those. And this is coming along perfectly. I would like to share a little more, but feel like this is a moment when it might be a good idea just to try to turn things off and kind of take a little rest for a while. At least a few more days, that is, because much more is going to go on the next couple of weeks before I get back to work.